Hi, I'm Michael Civita, a training engineer here at Worcester Bosch. In this short video, we're going to show you how to repressurize a boiler. At some point during the boiler's life cycle, you will have to top it up with mains cold water. You may notice this because the heating becomes less efficient or the pressure gauge on the boiler turns to red. There are two main ways of topping up the boiler. There will be an external filling loop or there will be an internal filling loop, of which there are many different designs out there. If you're unsure of which filling loop you've got, ask your installer and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. So you've decided to top the boiler up because the pressure is in the red. So I'm going to show you how to do this with an external filling loop. You'll be able to identify this because there'll be two valves, one from the mains cold water that's coming from a cold tap more than likely, and then a second valve which is connected to the heating system. Um, so they'll look similar to this, and you'll also have a silver braided hose. And this hose is going to allow the water from the cold to enter the heating system. So to do so, you want to take that hose and attach it to, what, to each side of the valve, like so. Once the silver braided hose is attached, we're going to open the mains cold tap first fully, and then we're going to open the second tap, and this is going to allow us to control the water going into the heating system. We're going to do this until the pressure rises to just above one, and then we can stop. Once you've pressurized the boiler back to just over one, we can turn off both taps. Don't worry if you've gone too far, we can correct this later. At this point, I would leave the braided hose connected and bleed off any air you've got in all of your rads. So go around your house, each rad individually, and bleed that air off. Come back to the boiler and check the pressure. You may have to top it up just that little bit more. Once you're satisfied that the radiators are bled and the system is at one bar, you can remove the braided hose. Make sure both taps are closed, and be mindful that when you do remove the hose, there will be some water in there. So that's how we operate an external filling loop. However, you may have a boiler that's got an internal filling loop. Now in order to repressurize the boiler, you are likely provided with something like this. This is a white key for a keyed filling loop, and I'll show you how to use this. So first of all, you need to locate the key. This will usually be on a flap underneath the boiler, or it may have been provided you as part of the installation. Once you've found the key, you need to find out where it goes on the boiler. On a Worcester, it's on the front right-hand side. You'll notice an open black port, and this is where the key fits. On the black surface, you'll notice a picture of an open padlock and a closed padlock. And if you have a look on the white key, there is an arrow on the shaft. Align the arrow with the open padlock as you push it up into the open port. Once you feel it fully engaged, the white arrow should be close to the black. Turn it to the right-hand side to the closed padlock. You should feel that you can't remove the white key. Once the key's in place, open the white tap to the left-hand side slowly and watch the pressure rise. Once the pressure is at just over one bar, close that white tap. Once the white tap is closed, turn the key back to the open padlock and pull down gently. As you remove the white key, be mindful that there will be some water that comes with it. That's okay. Like the external filling loop, don't worry if you've gone too far. We can bleed the pressure off at a radiator later on. So we've seen how to repressurize the system with an external filling link, an internal keyed filling link, and now I'm going to show you by far the quickest and easiest way with an internal keyless filling link. You'll find this on some Worcester Combi boilers. The keyless filling link is easily identifiable as you'll see a blue lever at the bottom of your boiler. To repressurize the system with the keyless filling link, simply pull down the blue lever. Once the pressure has gone just over one bar, release the lever and the system will stop filling. So there you have it, we've shown you three very common methods of filling up the heating system. If you have any doubts, please contact a professional or visit our website for more information.